it's fantastic to see so many new faces here. I've been coming to lots of CMB events and uh, it's great to see the old familiar faces and people I recognize year on year, uh, but to see lots of people I don't recognize and whose names I don't know and I hope I'll get to know you all. Um, we have been through a very long journey uh, with Mariam Namaz and uh, Namazi and other men, members of uh, CMB and related campaigns uh, like the One Law for All campaign. And only a few days ago, we launched um, uh, a statement to the government uh, calling for a review of Sharia courts, which they promised us. But in fact, we know that we're likely to get let down by the politicians of any political party because nobody really wants to take on religious extremism. And nobody wants to take on religious extremism when they feel that it's a partner in the fight against terrorism. So using one form of religious extremism to fight another. And I think that that is an important fight in the future for CMB because it's my view that many of you who come out of these traditions make better theologians of Islam than those people who work uh, with a fairy tale version. Because you can work with history, you can work with facts, you can work with evidence, you can analyze the history of Muslims, which is not the same as the theology of Islam. You can talk about many things that you know about in a much more complex way. And you know, I see a lot of hope in the future coming from uh, the individual and maybe the collective work of people who are associated with the forum. And the other thing that I think is really important to remember, and some of the speakers earlier spoke about it, is the issue of uh, refugees and migrants. We're facing, that we're here today celebrating at a time when other people are protesting at an austerity march. And the fact is that we know that this is a government of little Englanders, which is trying to throw up barriers against the persecuted of the world. And it cannot do that. People are going to keep on coming to this country and they're going to come in conditions of illegality and be, live in, in misery and slavery in this country. And the one thing that we can do is, to, is if we throw open the borders, we actually make Britain a repository of some of the largest counter extremist movements in the world because it's people fleeing religious persecution who will stand against it not those so-called representatives of British Islam who are actually the government-funded and backed representatives of Islamism across the world. Thank you very much.